Portable photo printers are a popular accessory with all levels of photographer, especially here in 2022, and it's easy to see why. Being able to instantly get a physical copy of an image taken with a smartphone or Wi-Fi Bluetooth-enabled digital camera is irresistible, especially in this digital world we live in. If you take masses of photos only to later end up burying them on Instagram, Facebook, or even on your own hard drive, a portable photo printer is definitely for you. Sure, a larger desktop photo printer or even a wide format printer can also be great, but portable printers ensure they're always with you, whether in a handbag, car glove compartment, or just in your jacket pocket. We have listed the top 5 portable photo printers and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. Canon IV Mini Photo Printer Canon IV Mini Photo Printer is small enough to fit in your pocket, so you can take it just about anywhere. It has rounded edges and features only one function button. The back lid comes out, making it easy to access the photo paper. This small printer comes in mint green, rose gold, and slate gray which instantly creates a fun and playful feel. The number of accessories for this printer is limited. Overall, the print quality was okay. The prints will look faded compared to how you see them on your mobile device, so you can edit the photo within the app before printing. I feel like the prints tend to be a bit on the cooler side, or maybe there's not enough contrast. However, in general, they compared well to other prints. It takes about 19 seconds to complete a print. I do have to mention that a little bit of sound came from the printer while it was in operation. The app has all the same features as the other apps, so you can print from your camera roll or connect a bunch of social media accounts and print directly from there. You can also do all your basic editing and select a predefined filter from within the app. Also, you can print different photos as collages. If you enable notifications for this app, you will start getting notifications to print your photos. The Canon IV will cost you around $99. As almost all the printers use Zinc technology, again, you won't spend extra money on ink. You can buy the sticky back photo paper for this printer in 20 to 50 sheet packs, which will run you between $10 and $25. Therefore, the average cost per photo works out to be $0.5. Number 4. Kodak Step Wireless Mobile Photo Mini Printer The Kodak Step is a compact little unit that feels compatible in the hand and fits in just about any pocket. It features a discrete power button, micro USB port and SATA slides along with a slide off top to open the paper tray, keeping the design smooth and simple. Available in white, blue, black or pink, the step is grid on its own, but you can also get a number of accessories like cases and sleeves to protect it, or even a scrapbook bundle to boost your creativity. The printed images weren't bad when it came to capturing true-to-life colors like skin tones, but overall were flat and dark. While brighter colors came out okay and skin tones looked natural, they were lacking in contrast and saturation, giving them a dull look. Also, detail was lost in shadows and dark areas blended with dark backgrounds, leaving some printed images almost completely black. I also had a problem with print positioning. The paper was loaded into the tray as per the instructions, but 3 out of 5 printed photos came out off-centered, with white space on one edge. And that's after previewing each image before printing where they looked good. Each photo printed in under 1 minute. After the initial opening, which was good because I liked the design and the feel of the Kodak Step, setting up the app was my first real introduction to it, and it was the first precursor to an overall disappointing experience. The smartphone app connects to the printer via Bluetooth or NFC, which should be a fairly simple process, but the Kodak app adds an extra step to connect it after initial pairing. As a result, my phone found the device but wouldn't connect and I ended up googling why not which led me to a video on where to find the in-app toggle switch upper right corner of the gallery. Once connected, however, the app is easy enough to navigate and offers the typical editing features like color and temperature adjustments and extra design elements. You can also create collages and change formats. The Codex Step costs just under $70, making it the best budget option for portable photo printers. You can buy the 2x3 inches photo paper in packs of 20 to 100 for $10 and $48 respectively so the average cost per print works out to be $0.48. Number 3. Polaroid Zip Most people associate Polaroid with instant photos and cameras from decades ago. 
Polaroid is one of the original developers of instant film products, and the Polaroid Zip instant printer is a testament to that heritage. The Polaroid Zip is a portable photo printer perfect for capturing memories directly from your smartphone or tablet. The printer pairs seamlessly to your device through Bluetooth or NFC via a dedicated app. The app itself offers an image gallery, the ability to edit photos and create collages, and also access to images directly from your social media accounts. It's free to download and quite user-friendly. As for the printer, it is a neat little package at 74mm by 120mm by 22.8mm, just the right size to store in a bag or even slip into your back pocket. Further to this, the tiny printer weighs in 186 grams, making it a truly portable, no-fuss addition to your daily carry gear. The Polaroid Zip takes a pack of 10 zinc media that employs the Zinc Zero Ink printing technology. This Polaroid develop system does not require any ink cartridges and can print an image in a single pass wizardry. Each print is a 2x3 image that's full color and will not smudge. Another great feature is that the backside of the print peels off to reveal a sticky underside for all your bumper sticker style branding. A 50 print pack of the Zinc Zero paper will cost you around $25, making it only 50 cents a print. That means you can hand them out to your friends without concern over cost. The Zip comes with a pack of 10 prints along with a USB cable to charge the device. Charging the lithium polymer battery pack will take about 1.5 hours that will give you 25 prints. The Polaroid Zip will cost you around $130, not a bad price for portability and convenience. If you're looking for an instant printer that's lightweight and doesn't require additional ink, the Zip is our choice of the best portable printer of the year. Number 2. Canon Selfie Square QX10 Canon aims its sights squarely at Instagrammers with the latest flashy portable printer, the Selfie Square QX10, which produces a print image in a 6.8cm by 6.8cm square format. The prints, which come in a brand new XS 20L pack, are rated to last more than 100 years if stored responsibly and come with a smudge-proof water-protected coating. Not bad for something that's produced in as little 43 seconds. The QX10 is also small enough to fit in a handbag, making it perfect for travel and parties. And thanks to its pro-quality dye sub technology, its print will look really great. Number 1. HP Sprocket Hewlett Packard is a household name for computers and not so well known as a developer of instant printers, yet here we are. The HP Sprocket is a neat and simple portable photo printer that's compact and highly portable. It has rounded edges and a slick design, meaning that you can carry it in a pants pocket or tuck it into a carry bag. The printer is only 80cm by 117cm by 25mm in size. Much like the Polaroid Zip Pocket Printer, the Sprocket prints 2x3-inch prints, full color and smudge-proof. They're high quality, bright and have a good level of image detail. As you would expect, the printer pairs quickly and confidently with your smart device to allow you to use the HP Sprocket app to manage your photos and control the printer. The app will allow you to print a friend Sprocket, select photos from your gallery or social media and produce a range of artistic applications such as collage or even a video. The battery pack is charged via an included USB cable and will give you up to 45 prints. The Sprocket mobile printer connects to your device via Bluetooth and also has a sleep mode that keeps the connection ready even after you turn your device off. As seems to be the current standard, Sprocket uses zinc or zero ink solution labeled HP Zinc, which is smudge free and water resistant. As there is no ink used to create images, the only consumable you will use is the HP Zinc paper. It costs around $20 for 50 sheets, that equals to 40 cents per print which makes it the cheapest so far. The HP Sprocket printer retails for around $79. It's easy to use and ticks all the boxes for design, performance, and affordability. If you're looking for a simple and creative outlet for your smartphone or tablet photography, then picking up a wireless compact photo printer is the way to go. With any of the photo printers we've reviewed here, you can take great photos and instantly edit them, add effects, and print them for yourself and your friends. What's more, a high-quality mobile photo printer is a relatively inexpensive and convenient alternative to going to a printing kiosk. Not to mention that it's much more fun. With such a broad range of printing styles, you can go for the old-school instant film look or the latest in-high-tech digital image reproduction. Either way, having an instant photo printer in your pocket empowers you to take your photography in a new direction. Let us know in the comments down below which portable photo printer you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, 
please get this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.